Welcome to another episode of The, the Epic, Epic Family, Family Road, Road Trip. Trip, the Empty Nest Edition. So I got these beautiful eggs from a friend of ours and all my vegetable. I think I spoke about it in the last video. And it's been so nice when we come into camp and you know you have good, good wholesome food. So thanks again, Michelle. So nice of you. Good morning guys, we had a great sleep here. We're not that far off uh, Highway 40, going through the mountains here, so you're gonna get some traffic noise. This is a good place for a one night stop. I wouldn't uh, probably camp here for a long time. If we did, we'd carry on further down this forest or this little trail. It's not even a forest road, it's just a trail. And once you get back in there, it's pretty quiet. But uh, yeah, we had a great sleep and uh, got pretty cold last night. We had frost on the, uh, on the tent but um, made for a pleasant sleep. Now we're gonna get back on the road and keep heading west. Last time we were here was with all the kids and we were doing the Colorado BVR. Thing we didn't bring down the trailer because uh, this would have been pretty hard to come down with and then there's no campsite so that's why I get my exercise in 
and uh, walk ahead. It is beautiful. I felt the water and it was so cool. Really nice. I think today is around uh, 35 or so. So that was refreshing. But uh, yeah, we'll turn around and look for another spot. So we've seen quite a few of those antelope or deer carcasses. I don't know if there's a healthy cougar around or it's just part of this land. It's pretty harsh, maybe. I'm not too sure. I won't go far from the Jeep. I'm just gonna see if it's um, worth coming down this route. Saw a lizard. Hey little guy. It's kind of pretty, probably where the water flows and rushes down the mountainside all the way out to the river there. Cool. Yeah. Doesn't look like those people live there anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe when someone was here to take care of it, it was nice. It's warm anyway. Oh wow, look at these. Yeah, that's even hotter. At some point this is probably a pretty neat place to go. Doesn't look like it's been maintained for years, but on the information thing it said the owners live on site and they charge you ten bucks to go dipping in the pools. Looks like hot, medium, warm, cooler, cold. But now you've got all kinds of gunge on there and frogs that have rotten because of the heat and I think I'll pass, but maybe this place got maybe they only maintain it in the winter because very hot out and I doubt anyone would be wanting to go in hot springs right now. That doesn't look like they've been there for a while. So Yeah, that's definitely been abandoned for a while. Damaged. So found a tiny little state park here by the river. Um, I think it makes a better option for us. We were up in the hills behind, but man, it was hotter than the surface of the sun. So down here by the river, we can feel a bit of a breeze coming off and they've got these nice little designated camp spots. It's only about 14 bucks for the night. So can't can go, go wrong. Swimming. We can go swimming, I think. Yeah, right over here. That'd be nice. Well, that was nice to cool down in quite warm water but uh, what a beautiful day the wind is picking up and apparently tonight is supposed to be I think the biggest moon of the year so I'm looking forward to that so there's not much cloud cover if any so I thought I had some dressing tomatoes and all sorts of stuff and even my lettuce 
got all bruised on our trip. So we're gonna just make do with what we have. It'll be a simple taco salad. Good morning. We're uh, heading off now, continuing our westward push. But this little spot by the river was a wonderful place to spend the night. Very, very quiet. No one else in the campground. Uh, we got the river right behind us. So we really enjoyed it. Um, the moon was spectacular. I hope we could capture it at least a little bit. It was up all night. Um, the, even this morning, it was just hanging on the horizon there. So beautiful place here in Colorado. Today we're going to be crossing into Utah, so more adventures ahead. Definitely picked the hardest road. Um, it is a very steep grade coming out of this canyon. But we'll just take our time and we should be all right. We turned off our AC because it's really hot out there. We don't want to, obviously don't want to overheat the engine. Halfway up the big hill, and we've got uh, traffic stopped. It's um, some road damage ahead. That'll give our engine a second to cool down, so um, that's a good thing. We're refueling. You can probably hear the ticking in the background. We're refueling from the uh, auxiliary. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're 41 minutes to fuel, so we're gonna be fine. just took the most remote route you could possibly take but we made it to uh, back to pavement after a big climb and the Jeep handled itself well and we're about 12 minutes from fuel so we're good that entire stretch uh, the last two hours we we passed about two ranches that's about it there's no fuel we passed I think two trucks and a bit of construction right here, but uh, that was a very desolate, but beautiful and remote 
route to take. He went through the far, let's see, northwest corner of Utah and in, or of Colorado, sorry, and then into Utah. So this area is called Flaming Gorge in Utah, or that gorge down there where they dammed up the Colorado, I believe. And uh, so you have this beautiful network of lakes. But right now we're driving near the southern part and we're gonna cross the dam. We're just gonna stop here for a minute at the overlook and see if we can get right up to the lake and then we'll carry on. Probably. How is it? It's beautiful. It's like the perfect temperature. So perfect. It looks nice. It's like the, I can't believe it. It's like the best ever. So that was so refreshing. I could have spent all day out there just swimming. It's a perfect temperature with this warm day. <sighs> it was so nice. All right, that was beautiful down there by the gorge. Um, we're now heading up the hill and we're gonna find a camp spot for the night. Good morning. We had a great night's sleep here on top of the mountain, although it did get super windy last night. I had to get up at 3 in the morning and take down our awning and tuck our chairs away. Um, but other than that, I had a great sleep and uh, we've been moving really fast. As you know, our last couple of videos, we had to drive across the country, pick up our trailer, do all that cleaning up and, and sorting. And then we were racing down with the breakdown down to Expo which is a busy time and now we're cutting across the country but hopefully after this we can uh, slow down a little bit and, and spend a bit more time in camp. We haven't even had time to think about uh, missing the kids but man it's starting to sink in now so they are doing well though everybody's back home um, and uh, creating content and working hard but man you, you really miss them when you get into uh, long travel days for very many, many reasons. But one one is because it's so nice to have that buddy system. If you get into trouble in the backcountry, you've got someone there to uh, tow you out or help you out. So anyway, we look forward to being reunited again on the trail. But in the meantime, we're gonna carry on down the road and we're gonna take you with us. we've been doing is uh, driving all day and then finding pretty much a roadside camp um, which just you know gives us a good place for the night but this time last night we drove in probably a half an hour off the road on a dirt trail and found a really quiet spot to camp and then when we looked uh, this morning at the map <clears throat> the dirt road actually carries on and so we're heading on a backcountry route which leads to the same place we were headed uh, so let's see what that all entails, but it's kind of a narrow steep windy road our kind of road This is a beautiful area
we're back on pavement, but that uh, trail we just took was uh, absolutely beautiful. It goes higher and higher into the mountains, and then you get into the aspens with big open clearings. In a couple of weeks, I think that'll all be full color, beautiful yellow aspens. Reminded us a lot of uh, when we were doing the BDR in Colorado. So that is an area we're going to come back and explore, especially with the bikes. The boys will love it up there. Now my ears are popping because we've come down in elevation so much. I'm going through a gorgeous valley right now. This state has so much to offer, so much beauty. A mix of high alpine uh, with the aspens and everything, and then you get down here into the desert and the canyon lands. It's unbelievable, but we're, we're kind of in central Utah now, working our way west, and our friend Kevin from Lifestyle Overland dropped us a bunch of pins and so pretty soon we're going to be getting off pavement and taking you on a backcountry tour of central Utah. It's going to be fun and we're going to take you with us. Alright, we are off of the pavement onto the dirt but it must have rained up here recently. We're at 8,800 feet, um, temperature is a lot cooler and the roads are pretty slick, but uh, we'll just put it in four and keep crawling along. We should be all right. So if you guys can see, there's a two does here, and then there's a bigger one up here, and then there's two bucks. They don't seem to mind us at all. They're just carrying on. I think we're just gonna get the handsaw and cut these two down. I don't wanna go off the trail too much. So I hiked in to see where the trail ends and it ends kind of just right here. Beautiful view all around. 
but for the trailer coming in here I don't know if it's worth it yeah unfortunately I think we're gonna have to turn around and go back out but it was beautiful and I'm glad I walked ahead a little bit instead of having Pete come all the way down here there's no real spot but, yeah just kind of ends it's no beautiful way. but not level and uh should I try turn around here then? yeah so I'll help you back up there there's a stump the trailer's gonna have to go up and over but it's fine nothing down there no it just gets steep okay. I just huffed it yeah <laughs> all right we'll turn around at least it was pretty and we saw the young two bucks and the doe in the park yeah I think this will do. We were looking for a spot in a bit of a meadow and I think uh, we found one. Got a nice view that way, through the trees that way. Should be good. Let's spend the night here. So we had, uh, we bought this really cheap kind of styrofoam cooler just to put some ice in and it ended up leaking all over the sleeping bag in here but not to worry we just cranked the Bobasso heater and this is just drying everything out the sleeping bag's already completely dry this has a little ways to go a few more minutes and everything's good to go storm coming. If it rains, you're not going to be able to get back out of here. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down, down the road. road.